scope. A typical day starts very early in the morning around 7 o'clock when I head to the pool and I do two to three hours of um, swimming. And then I head to Boca, what I do, what we call dryland, is the weight, weight training. After in the afternoon I have to go back to the water for another two hours. And then go home and relax again and whatever I have to do for school, whatever I have to do for my project. My name is Arlene Semico, I'm from Venezuela and I'm currently doing my graduate studies here in FIU, Food and Nutrition and I'm gonna participate in the 2012 London Olympics. I'll be representing Venezuela and I'll be swimming the 50 and 100 freestyle. London Olympics are gonna be my third Olympics. Um, I participated in Athens 2004 and Beijing 2008. The experience in the Olympics is very wonderful. I, I love everything about it and it's just it's special. It's just really nice and everybody is friendly. And athletes, of course, we're going to be, I mean, rivals in the water, but at the same time, outside the water, we're really good friends. My first decision to come to South Florida was because of my um, swim club, and the coach in Coral Springs was an amazing coach. And I decided to start my master's, and FIU offered a really good program, so I decided to do the move to South Florida. I finished my classes already for a graduate program, now I'm finishing my master project and I dedicate my project to swimmers. Actually, I'm doing and studying nutrition knowledge and the practices of high school swimmers. You have to have a lot of planning to balance everything. There are a lot of things you have to postpone and prioritize. So I just try to do my work at the pool when I'm in the pool and then my work at home when I'm home. These third Olympics are gonna be for me, the, the, you know, the point breaker where I'm going to decide what I'm going to do. I like to focus on um, sports nutrition, which is something that I love. And I think that's what I want to start doing right after I finish this Olympic part of my life. So I'm just trying to just live the moment right now and then decide what I'm going to do later.